Update three on now category two Hurricane Ida, which is now a rapidly intensifying hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. Expected landfall in the next twenty four hours. This is a very severe situation, and I urge all to evacuate if possible. Taking a look at the satellite imagery for the storm, you can really see that new eye trying that eye re popping out after it got closed up in that center. And it has a very intense eye wall. The last time around, recon found 105 miles an hour and pressure all the way down to 965. I would call it a 967 millibar storm at this point. And would even argue that this could be a Category 3 if they just need to get reconnaissance planes into the system to tell the new true intensity of the storm. Taking a look at the NHC track guidance, we can see that there is that it is still expected to go generally here about roughly west, I mean east of Vermilion Bay in Louisiana. Hurricane warnings extending basically the entirety of southeast Louisiana all the way from here up to here and down and in. I think there's even one county in Mississippi with a hurricane warning, and then you have all of these other parishes, I mean counties in Mississippi, Alabama, and the far western portions of Louisiana with tropical storm force, I mean with tropical storm warnings. It's currently moving northwest at 16 miles an hour, but I'd argue that it's moving at 14 or 15 now, and its current pressure, but according to the NHC, is somewhere in the 970s, I think it's 972, but I am currently going with a nine pressure of 968 or 967 millibars for the system. Taking a look at the expected rainfall, as you can see, a ton of these areas, including portions of New Orleans, getting 15 to 20 inches of rain, some areas getting 20 to 25 inches offshore as well. And then you can see this whole, basically the entirety of southeastern Louisiana getting 10 to 15 inches, and the actual entirety of southeastern Louisiana getting six plus inches of rain. You even see that extending out into Mobile, Alabama. So this has a very large spread. And you even see it up towards northern Mississippi. And you even get up to four to six inches in Nashville, Tennessee, which has already received quite bad rain in the past week or two and caused flash flooding that unfortunately took the lives of 22 people. So that mo ground is still moist up there, as well as southeastern Louisiana, which has received rain over the past couple of days unrelated to Ida and has began seeing rain related to Hurricane Ida in the past couple of hours. Peak surge for the system is up to 15 feet for anywhere from Morgan City all the way to the mouth of the Mississippi River. Up to 8 feet for the North Shore. Six feet from Lake in Lake Morpaw, and even four f up to four feet, up to four feet extending all the way out into Mobile Bay, Alabama. So this storm will really have an influence, and you could even see up to three feet on the west side, all the way down to the Sabine Pass. Taking a look at the expected track, as you can tell, this this track is taking it generally in the same location, although it's been shifting east more and more and could eventually kind of shift here with a very small possibility now at least in my opinion of a Mississippi landfall although it is very unlikely. Taking a look at my intensity prediction as well as the NHC's. NHC going with a peak of 130 miles per hour. I'm sticking with 140. I really don't know what the system will do currently at 105 miles per hour just at the basis of this prediction. Taking a look at the intensity guidance through the models, they have really backed off on this storm. Just yesterday, they were all sh major. There was only one model not showing a Category Four storm. Well, I mean, a couple models sh not showing a Category Four storm, and one even almost showed a Category Five. So really backed off as there's only about three that show c Category Four at this point, other than the IR models. Taking a look at the potential damage index, you can now see that this is up to a remaining at a stage eight. Nothing has really changed. The winds have just decreased one bar, one rum, and the speed 
has stayed the same. The rainfall has stayed the same, and so has the surge. But it's still enough to be a 8 on the potential damage index. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Atlantic updates. And please keep up to date on this storm, whether it be through my channel or any other place. Just keep up to date if you are in the path of the storm and potentially receiving impacts. Thank you for watching and signing off.